So in this video, we're going to be looking at heat buildup in a variety of pulleys to see if that is a practical problem and what we can learn from it. So in all cases, the pull was a double line pull, the car being dragged over gravel, that's about 1500 kilograms worth of pull. And you can see that we temperature controlled it to some degree using a shade, although this wasn't precise laboratory conditions. Nevertheless, I still think there's some interesting conclusions. So the colours represent relative temperature and you can see in Celsius what some of the temperatures are. Take a look at the ring itself, it's actually a fairly consistent temperature and incoming rope as well as the outgoing rope. Now as the winch starts up we start to put some load on it. Take a look at what happens to that ring. You can see that the inside of it starts to heat up there relative to the outside and that's because it's sliding around that soft shackle. Also see that the incoming rope is now cooler than the outgoing rope and we're really starting to see some heat build up over that ring. But is it going to be more or less than the others? That's the interesting point here. Now we're going to rig the Yankum in its around configuration for again a two to one pull. You can see that pretty much instantly it starts to heat up because there's a lot of friction with that rope going around. Also look at the relative heat of the rope coming in, going out. There's quite a big difference there and that ring is now getting very hot. The soft shackle seems to be getting a little bit hotter as well because it's touching the ring even if it's not sliding. So we're seeing quite a significant heat build up there and I think that starts to explain the efficiency difference between the Sabre ring and the Yankum ring in my previous videos. Now we're rigging the Yankum in its through configuration and again you can see we're getting a heat build up but this time it's a little bit more localised because obviously that entire ring isn't rotating and that's actually saving the soft shackle from heat as well but um, you can see that heat starting to spread around the entire ring and also there's still a significant change in heat from the incoming rope and the outgoing rope. You can see that really the whole ring is now heated up quite significantly now as well. So this is the two Yankum rigs. So let's take compare the, the styles. With the through, we get a localised heat build up and quite a bit of it and that starts to spread out. Whereas with the around, because the ring's sliding around the entire ring, then the heat build up is more even, but arguably not quite as great in one point. But if you do enough with the through, then that heat starts to sort of spread out the to the entire ring but it still seems to me that there's probably more of a heat build up um, with the around than there is with, with, with the through. Either way I don't think either of them are any cause for concern. I think you could rig both and whatever the pros and cons of, of these rings I don't think heat management is, is a disadvantage. <laughs> Now let's take a look at the factor 55 and you can see straight away um, we're getting some heat getting into that one and look at the temperature of the rope coming out versus coming in so that's running relatively hot and I think again we can attribute that to its uh, relatively small internal diameter which is good for keeping the rope in but it's not so good for efficiency and that was reflected in the efficiency tests. Now this is the safe extract, the first of two blocks. You can see that the incoming line is definitely cooler than the outgoing line, but there's not that much heat change compared to the blocks. And also the mechanism itself is running cooler than any of the rings we've seen for, so far, which is exactly what you expect because it's got a bearing in there. So there's significantly less friction. And again, that's reflected in the friction results. Now we've got the uh, ARB and same sort of thing. You can see that the outgoing line is a little bit hotter than the incoming line, but not as much as we've seen with the rings. Um, there's a little bit of internal heat you can see there from the friction um, of the bearing starting to build up. I think that was maybe masked in the extract, safe extract. And interesting, there's a bit of heat going on from the shackle. Um, it's actually undercover, so it wouldn't have been the sun.
Now, I thought it'd be interesting to put the Sabre, the Yankum, the Safe Extract, and a Factor 55 all together. So here they are. Now, this is not a laboratory type test because we didn't temperature control every single ring to the last degree. It is undercover, um, as I mentioned. So you know, there are limitations to the to this test, but I still think it gives a good indication as to what sort of heat you may be looking at when these pulleys actually operate in the field and uh, relative um, advantages, disadvantages. And I also think it gives a reasonable indication as to the likely efficiency of each of the pulleys as well. So what can we learn from this? Well, it wasn't a lab test, but I think that we can still draw conclusions even with the data that we've got. First one is pretty obvious that all pulleys heat up due to rope deformation primarily, but also other factors like the friction of the rope against um, something if it's rubbing and also the bearing takes energy to turn as well if there's a bearing. The larger diameter pulleys, be they rings or blocks, definitely deform the rope less and therefore generate less heat. And the amount of heat generated is an indicator of efficiency because there was a correlation between the, ring, the pulleys that got the hottest and the ones that were the least efficient. And blocks run cooler than rings, no surprise. There's no, nothing sliding over anything else and the bearing's always going to be better than a low friction surface. Now, there's no evidence the Yankum designs are better at heat management than any other. They heat it up same as all the rest. But generally pulley heat is not an issue, which is why I'm not going to go into this in vast amounts of detail. Where you've got to manage your heat is in the winch and also you've got to look at the battery of your car and make sure that doesn't get depleted. That's where you've really got to look at your heat management, not on the pulley, no matter what sort of pulley it is. A good rule is to winch for 30 seconds on, then off again, check how things have gone, are you hung up, do you need to do anything else, then back on again. So in short, don't worry about pulley heat, it's not a problem.